magnificent. y'all good great happy november first of all and today is november 6 so it is daylight savings time ends so we fall backwards which is a concept that other people in different countries might not get because i had a conversation with a young lady in saudi arabia a friend of mine in saudi arabia and she was just not getting it but today the clocks fall backwards so whatever that means to you, hopefully maybe something good, you enjoy a little bit extra time in bed, whatever that means to you, <laughs> do that. I do have a few things to get done in the shop. I do have to print some items that I am low supply on, especially the shipping items. So shipping stickers, like when I ship orders, I like to beautify my packages. So I have to print out some more of those. As well as, I really don't know what else I have to do. I know I have to do things, right? I have a washi tape that I've had for a while, but I just never listed it on my shop. So I want to make sure I get that done today, list that. And I also want to make more flower clips. I don't often talk about my flower clips that I made, but I'm really trying to stock my shop heavy for Black Friday and the holiday season. So I want to make sure it's fully stocked with everything that I offer. So I need to make more flower clips and I will want to take care of that today. So, not gonna make a long intro. Not gonna make a long intro. I say that and watch it still be long, right? No, no. We're not gonna make a long intro. Let me make my list of things that I have to get done today and just work on executing them and hopefully you guys can stick around and execute them with me. I also, as I'm looking over there, one of my plants desperately, she desperately needs to be trimmed. Like, it was cool how it was growing all viney and taking over the entire wall. But now she's starting to look laggy and not healthy. So I definitely need to trim her. So I might try to get that all done today. And must I say, I know I said I wasn't going to make this intro long, but I lied. Orders have slowed down for me. So if you are a fellow shop owner, how is it going for you? Because I was expecting it to pick up exponentially, especially in November, because now it's a busy season. I did wonderful, not amazing, but I did good. For myself in October especially with the black girl magic sticker sheet but November I've just been pushing out so many new products on Etsy and sales have not been matching my expectations so I don't know what it is maybe people are not ready to shop yet maybe my products are just not what people are looking for but sales have been lower than I was expecting and I'm a little bit worried about that because I did invest some money in buying new products like the keychains, the acrylic pins, the greeting cards and stuff like that. But the sales are not matching to what I thought was going to happen. You know, and it does, I'm not going to lie to y'all, it does feel a bit discouraging. It makes me not want to, I don't know, like I'm not giving up on the shop, that's not it. It just feels discouraging like... Did I, are my products not good enough in a way? But then I get told that they are good. But a lot of people are liking this stuff though, right? They're liking them on Etsy, but they're just not purchasing. So I have to figure out what is the disconnect or what's going on, or maybe it's just not time yet. Maybe people are just getting their money together. I don't know, whatever it is, I just hope it just fixes itself because I need sales to happen because I invested money. <laughs> and because a little bit of, you know, it does boost my self-esteem and my confidence in my business a little bit. So, anyway, with that said, let me make a list of what I have to get done and let's execute them together. These are the main things that I want to get done today. The first one is print and cut my ancestor sticker. The one that says I told my ancestor about you. I need to print and cut more shipping stickers, which are the stickers that I put on my packages that make them look really cute. <laughs> make more flower clips, list the washi tape, and trim the plant. First thing I'm going to work on though is, let's list the washi tape. 
Yeah, let's do that first. I said I was going to list the washi tape first. Definitely lied about that. I took a look at my garbage can over there and I'm like, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> it's embarrassing. Like when I cut stickers, I just, it just overflows. Let me show you guys. Look, look, ready? look, 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 look. This is, look at that. It's just all the garbage piled up on the floor. So let me take the garbage out first. And then we can talk about listing the washi tape. Magnificent. stand more when I work so that I'm not always sitting so I'm raising the desk so I can get some work done while I'm standing this is the washi tape I'm gonna list on my shop right now it has like ice cream and ice cream sandwiches hold on let me see can you guys see it let me put it on paper real quick let's put it on this so you guys can really get the full effect so this is what it looks like it has like ice cream if this thing would focus, there we go. So it's like an ice cream sandwich, ice cream icicles, just cute, like you know, summertime desserts. Thankfully, I already took the photographs and they're already edited, so all I have to do now is just list it on my Etsy shop. product description is like so time consuming sometimes like I've been standing here for like the past 15 20 minutes just trying to come up with a product description for this washi tape and I'm trying to make it something where people can visualize it in their planner or their journals but also make it like really cute and catchy with the word phrases I can't think of anything I can't <laughs> oh my gosh this is the part that I don't like Oh, I'm trying to like, you know, get the brain of the work, the words flowing and I can't, I just can't. Like, what do I say? Like, summertime washi, I don't know, ice cream washi, like, I don't know, you guys. Oh, the struggle is real right about now. I mean, it's not big, big struggle, I'm not stressing over it, but it's holding me up from getting other things done. You know, I could be on to something else already. Think it through, Nardia. Think it through. Washi tape. Think about it. Look at it. It has ice cream cones. It has uh, sundaes. It has... You got this. You got this. Alright. Ice cream washi tape is... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Girl. I did it. I listed it. Can't put a description. Simple description, but I got it done. So let me check. And this is what it looks like, by the way. See, this is a better representation of what it looks like. I love it. I love it. And this is also my Kwanzaa notepad, which is also available in the shop if you're interested. But we listed the washi tape. Now let's move on to, let me start printing and cutting my ancestor stickers, the told ancestor stickers, because while I'm doing that, I could be making the flower clip as well. You know, try to kill two birds. Not this bird, not you. Don't listen, cover your ears. Try to kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> okay, let's get it done. Just a quick tip for you guys, real quick, um, before I start printing the stickers. When I was stuck and I couldn't come up with a description for the description area for the washi tape that I was listing, I, just a quick tip for you guys, 
what I did was I went on the Etsy app, not the seller's app, but the Etsy buyer's app as if I was a buyer. And I searched a washi tape just for someone else that was selling it and see what other people put in their description. Not to copy. I did not copy what they wrote. But just to get a general idea of some of the things that I could have included. And that really did help me to see how I should list my washi tape. And one list had, had like bookshelf washi, which was like washi tape, but it had books on it. And basically the person just described how to use the washi tape like in scrapbooks and in journals and stuff and also how the washi tape will make you feel for like book lovers and people that like to read. So I thought about that same concept with my washi tape and I put how you can use it obviously in scrapbooks, bullet journals, planners and so on and so forth but I also thought about who will be using it and I just thought about people that's like in the summertime it's a dessert washi, it's a food washi so I put for like people that love desserts, food lovers, ice cream lovers and that's how I was able to come up with the description of the washi tape to entice people to buy it. It's not a grand description, but that little experiment helped me. So you don't necessarily have to rebuild the wheel or start over or do everything on your own. You can definitely cheat a little bit and look on Etsy, see what someone else does, see what somebody else did and get a general idea of what you should do for your own shop. Just don't copy. Even for me, if you see something that I did, the way I take my photos, the way I list item descriptions, get a general idea and use it in your own way. That's what it's all about. Work smarter, y'all. Work smarter, not harder. Okay, now let's get everything else done. I said I was going to start making the flower clips right now but I remember that I wanted to also take photographs of my hoodie I have a Kwanzaa hoodie that I created um the design I just put it on the hoodie and it's gonna be shipped and how oh, am I trying to say it's a Kwanzaa hoodie that I took it's my design but it's I'm not making the shirt in-house myself it's through Printify the company but I want I I ordered a sample for myself to come here so I can see the quality of it and how I like it. And I do like it. So I wanted to take a picture of that hoodie so I can list it on the Etsy shop as well. This is inside my closet by the way, which is attached next door to my studio. I'm sure you guys have been in here before. If you haven't, this is my closet. There's another room next door to my studio. And um, I get really, really good lighting in here because it's all windows. You guys can't see, but behind it's just all glass windows. And I like the wall. Let me show it to you as I speak. I like the white brick wall that is in here. So I figured if I hang the hoodie on here and take a nice good picture of it, it will look nice.
this is the plant that I was telling you guys that I need to trim. Like it vines and it goes all the way down, but all of that doesn't have any leaf on it because I guess it's not getting enough sun. And it was really it was much more full in the center, but it's just getting really straggly. And then over here, and it goes all the way to under the desk, like legit. It is under the desk. See? It is under the desk and I don't know, like it's it's long and I love it. And I want to extend these, but it will grow again. But there are just certain spots that are just it's just straggly in certain spots. Like that entire part up there is just it's not looking good. And it has some yellow leaves on it. I don't know if it's struggling. So I'm going to give it like a massive, massive trim. All of this is going to be gone. And I know over time it will grow again. And I love the look of it. It was really jungly, but I want to make sure the plant is healthier going forward. That's the main priority. Is just to make sure that it is healthier and fuller in the middle. So that's what I'm going to tackle now. As you can hear, the cricket is going, the printer is going, so I am multitasking today. I am printing stickers, I'm cutting stickers, but I really want to take care of this because I've been putting it off way too long now, way too long. Magnificent. it looks so much smaller but it is much healthier so I'm just gonna water it and watch it grow and see how it progresses over time I know it's gonna get back to its full vigor but I want the center to be much fuller than it is I cannot bring myself to cut this one I don't know why I just love it so that one even though it's not the it doesn't have the most leaves I couldn't bring myself to cut that one so I left it alone but it's no more over here it looks a little bit bland i'm not gonna lie to you i have to get used to it but it's so much healthier so much healthier i'm like this one over here this one is still doing good this one is i'm waiting for it to just continue and continue over there but this one is good you'll get there you'll get there so let's update the list so far Far, what have we gotten done I printed the shipping stickers I did that so they're all right here and packed away a few of them I also made the flower clips they're right here so these are paper clips I have the rose gold and the regular yellow gold and they're just like paper clips that you can add as you use a paper clip and they're double sided. So I made those, I made the flower clips, I trimmed the plant, and I also photographed the Kwanzaa hoodie. <laughs> yes! I basically got it all done today. But I want to add one more thing to it because right now I want to make backing cards for the flower clips. So let me just write that in. Make backing the idea that I have is I created this in Canva really simple really easy design and now I'm going to cut it and see how it looks once everything is trimmed 
want to see how it would look. So how I made my backing cards, if you guys want to see a full video on it, let me know. I can do that. But I try to cut down my cost as much as possible since my business is still fairly new. So I try to make as much things as I can in-house. And the backing cards, I just designed the images on Canva, designed it however I want it. And then after I design it, hold on you guys, it's not cutting straight. After I do the design, then I print it out with my printer. Make sure the image quality is really good. And then after I print it, I laminate it so that it's more sturdy. It's not like just a piece of paper. So I make sure it is laminated so that it is much sturdier. And that's basically it. And that works fine for me. It cuts down on my cost of having to have these things made. If I make a slit in the center right there, let's see. All right, probably didn't see that, but I need to cut it a little bit deeper. And go through both sides. Okay, there we go. And now let's see. Put that there. Ooh, yes, perfect. This is exactly how I pictured it. The only bad part about it is the curve right here. But, I mean, it saves on the cost. I don't mind it. And, you know, I'm picturing when you guys get it anyway, you might not be keeping this. Hold on. Let me round the corners. I just love a nice rounded corner. Okay. There we go. That is really cute. That is really cute. This is how it would look in the cello bag. There's the back of it. I mean, the bending is annoying, but I don't mind it. Because once you guys get it, you're going to use a paper clip. And then this is going to be basically garbage. Anyway, I would assume, unless you want to keep it, I don't know. But this is how it looks. And I'm quite happy with it. So that's how I make my backing cards. I'm going to finish up the rest of them and add these to it. So now, let's check that off the list too. Bam! Everything is completed. Yes. Feels good. Feels really, really good. And the washi tape again is listed if you guys are interested. Well, that's it you guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you got some kind of inspiration from it, if you learned something, if you're also wondering what's going on with your Etsy sales, if it's not as high as you expect, give the video a thumbs up for relatability and laughter and positive energy, I guess. I don't know, but I would appreciate whatever interaction you guys give me within the videos, either a thumbs up or a comment or sharing it. Until my next video, you guys, I'll speak to you guys in the comment section.